Now, here is a proper, a proper what the Farage moment. Thank goodness we are out of the European Union because it's pretty clear the direction in which they're going. Austria and Germany have both now declared that vaccinations will be mandatory. And Ursula von der Leyen, there she is, and of course she succeeded my old friend Jean-Claude Juncker. She is the president of the European Commission. She is the most powerful person in the European Union. And she now has come out publicly urging mandatory jabs. It's only a matter of time before this becomes official EU policy. Of that, I am pretty convinced. And the reason I say that I'm pleased we're out of the European Union is I'm pretty confident that we will not go down that route. And the government can encourage people all they like to go out and get vaccines and get boosters. Uh, but it is people right to choose not to do so. I believe that very, very strongly. And I think the creation of a two-tier society, the jabbed versus the jabbed knots, is a very, very dangerous thing. So Ursula von der Leyen now pushing hard for mandatory vaccinations. Now, I'm sure that it's purely coincidental, but Ursula von der Leyen, in her declaration of interests, states that her husband, Heiko von der Leyen, is part of pharmaceutical biotechnology. That's the sector that he works in. And specifically, he works for Orgenesis, Inc., an American company who specialise in cell therapy development. And even before they fully develop their COVID vaccine platform, I'm really pleased to announce that this firm is doing very, very well. Yes, Orgenesis have reported a 425% increase in their revenues for the third quarter. Hmm. Well, in my opinion, I believe regulators ought to check this out, don't you?